You ready for this, guys? <laughs> hey guys, I'm back for another video, and welcome to Minecraft Survival Island. And this is not the survival island that most of you are used to, no. This is the single player survival island. The first ever Minecraft Let's Play I ever did, and it's right here in front of us, ready to be explored. And yes, I am back for the second set of world tours in this amazing playlist. If you're not a part of that playlist, I would highly recommend you look through because this is my life history in Minecraft over the past five years, even seven years, actually. This world is probably five years old at this point. Um, yeah, this is a very old world indeed. Actually, no, I, yeah, it is five years. I started this Let's Play back in 2012, I believe. And I, the whole thing is, unlike the last world, this whole thing is on camera. If you guys want to watch this island coming about, I will leave a card in the top right hand corner to lead you guys to the first ever Minecraft Survival Island episode. I have to warn you guys though, this is my first time doing YouTube stuff. So I was, uh, there were black bars involved, the microphone was kind of bad. But you know what, it's still good content. It was actually very entertaining if you look past some of the technicalities of it. But anyway... You guys are here for the world tour. So, as you can see, this island's got a lot going on, even more than the last world. I think there's going to be a trend you guys will see in this playlist, is that as the worlds go on, uh, things get even more complicated, more and more complicated. So the first world was a lot of just hidden things that were very simple but very fun. And this time we're getting into something that's still really fun but more complicated. So, let's start off with the house, of course, because we are on the island itself. I'm in creative right now because... When I spawned in on this world, I didn't have anything in my inventory, and it's just easier to fly around and see things. So, yeah, we got our mailbox here. It's steak and torches. All right, so let's go inside of the house. Now, this is a lot. This is pretty cool. Oh, all the paintings are still a thing because this was made in a version that I guess it was still working. <laughs> paintings. We have item frames here. So, oh, this. Okay, here's something that uh, you're going to see a lot of private signs around here because what I did with this world is this is actually the origin of Supiocraft, my server. I might as well actually just break these <laughs> because this is a copy of the world. So I made my Minecraft server, my first ever server, first and only server. The first version was on this world. So it's pretty interesting like that. Anyway, if you see private signs and chests, that's why. So anyway, got random stuff here. This is our my tiny little storage area. Very small. We only had a couple chests. Why am I saying we? This is my single player. Let's play. Uh, <laughs> Ender storage. And then over here we got the miscellaneous building materials. Um, I'm kind of curious because not a heck of a lot of stuff is around here. We got some food there. Hmm. Well, anyway, yeah. So this is the kitchen. Now, this is a lot nicer than the first house because it's got three black high ceilings. <laughs> and, yeah, we got a nice little kitchen. We got our cauldron thing there. We got our fridge. Oh, that actually dispenses food. That's hilarious. Ha! <laughs> I didn't even know there was food in there. Yeah, that's kind of cool. So we got our sink and our table. And let's go upstairs. So up here we have a balcony. It's pretty nice. For an awesome adventure, start in the library. Ooh, so I have more secrets. I didn't know I had secrets in this world at all. Well, there you go. We're going to start that adventure. <laughs> well, there you go. Look at this. We're outside looking at all the stuff all around. Anyway, let's continue on with this one. So let's go to... Okay, that's our redstone chest. I remember that from my 1,000 sub special. We had a thing going on with that. Let's break those chests. Huh. We have high spelled out in potions. <laughs> so this is the bedroom. Then we got our... I'm going to actually sleep because it is nighttime right now. So let's get it to daytime. A sploosh. There we go. <laughs> Upside down clock. There we go. <laughs> we got a map here. I, there was the word 30 virus there. I guess it's not a thing in this version of the world. Interesting. Weird. Because I had like a 30 virus spelled out in like grass blocks. It was pretty cool. Oh, and here's the famous healing stations that I kept talking about in the most recent survival out. There's no potions in there, though. The idea is that you'd press the button and then... Yeah. Okay. So let's... Oh, there's another little room here. I guess there's a guest room. 
And then we go upstairs, and that leads us to the roof. There's a lot of sand there for some reason. And this is where my beacon goes. This is when beacons were in the game. Now, this is a super beacon of sorts. It's got four beacons instead of nine, like I did in the other survival arm world. So we got strength, resistance, regeneration, and haste, which are really the only ones you need, honestly. You don't really need the other ones to jump boost. <laughs> so that's the house. It's a lot smaller than the last house, but it's more homely, I guess, because... It may not be as big, but it's more like what an actual house would be. And it's on an island, too, so it's kind of tiny. This is a small island compared to the bigger survival island. So let's go outside here. We got a pool, too. Oh, ah, TV1, 30 Virus 1. If you guys don't know, my channel used to be called 30 Virus 1. If you go to the URL to this day, it will still say 30 Virus 1. So that's kind of funny how it's spelled out in glowstone down there. I didn't even know. There's a lot of secrets in this map. I haven't seen... I haven't really touched this map since, like, the day that I uploaded the final huge update video. So, it's really been a lot... Ooh, what is that? Huh. I really like my hidden TNT in Flint and Steel. Wow, I just noticed that. Alright. So, it says for a... Well, actually, let's not get into the Easter egg stuff right now. Let's just look at the overview. So, yeah, we got our pool over there. So, let's go to the downstairs. Now, this is a lot nicer than... Um, the upstairs, too. I, I really like this downstairs a lot. So we got our dyes in that chest. And we've got... Okay, I remember there was a secret here. I just gotta find it. So yeah, this is my television. Much bigger than the last one. I remember there being... There was something here. I think I don't think there was a button to it. Oh, there is. Hmm. Oh! <laughs> Welcome to my secret room. Checkpoint. Sleep in the bed below. Room G6. Oh, this is part of the Easter egg. Hold on. Uh, spoiler earth. How do I even get out? I think I just had to break the block. All right. Spoiler earth. Spoiler earth. Spoiler earth. Okay. <laughs> let's just let's keep moving. So this is our main downstairs area. And then we got the big wall of valuables. <laughs> our potion brewing area. Creeper head goes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't think I need that. Potion crafting materials. And then over. What the hell was that? Scared the crap out of me. Something just. Okay. Anyway. Oh, we have a to-do list uh, thingy. Extended slime farm. Castle with surrounding village. Riddles. Good cobblestone generator. Gas slash magma cube farm. Plus adjustable TNT cannon. Witch farm. I spelled the witch wrong. Wither skull farm. Wither Skull. Wait. Wither Skull Farm? I knew that was a thing back then? What? Squid Farm. We literally just did this in the main survival island. That's been something I've been wanting to do for years. I didn't even know. Huh. That's weird. Alright, anyway. We got a bathroom down here. Damn, that blows my mind. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Another guest room. I really like the birch in the floor. It makes a very nice looking... I like this a lot, actually. We might... I might do this for my room in Survival Island, the more recent one with Antoine, because th this is a nice looking floor. I like it a lot. Okay, anyway, let's move on. We got another guest room over here with Endstone in the floor. I was very experimental with the way I built floors, <laughs> as you can see, with just like the weird carpet thing, or just wall floor. All right, so we got a railway over there. That will be how we get to the farms later. And we get the picture room. Hmm. Well, I see. <laughs> it is indeed the picture room. <laughs> I don't even remember most of this stuff. Not bad. Just broke the chest. Okay. So then if we go over here, we got another healing station. That one actually has potions in it. Enchanting room. Ooh. I didn't even notice that. You notice how the book opens up and you get closer? Huh. Didn't know that. Pretty cool. Little potion there. And this is the mine. All right. Yep, so this is how I got down to the underground area. We're not going down there because, obviously, there's nothing really needed. There's the library. So that's where the secrets begin. Oh, this is my tribute room. Map made by 30 Virus. This download link is a bit... Oh, it's in the 100th Survival Island episode. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube. Watch the series if you haven't already. Good advice, indeed. <laughs> this is a nice new to room here i guess all right so the library welcome to the survival the library of survival island 
Hmm. We got a bunch of books here. We got magazines, history, combat, mining, crafting, mining, crafting, documentaries, educational sports, nonfiction, and fiction. That's kind of funny. I labeled all the, the things here. So it said there was a secret here in the library. Hmm. Oh! Your journey begins in the entertainment area upstairs. Oh, so that's what the spoiler was. All right. So we're going to we're going to be playing along here. It's been a long time since I've done this. So I do not remember what I did. I did a lot of it off camera as well. So we're going to be taking this journey and we're going to have a good time. So this is what the next step is. So now we go down here. Room G6. G6. I have to remember that. I actually have Okay, so I have sticky notes here, so we're, let's do this. We're going to actually legit. I do not. Okay, I have an idea of what it means, G6. Yeah, I have a very good idea of where that is. That's not going to come until later. All right, so that is it for the main house, I believe. We also have a way to get outside from down here. Emergency exit brings us right outside the island. Nice and convenient. All right, so let's explore some of the stuff around the island, shall we? So let's start with the treehouse. We. This is going to be a long video, or set of videos, probably. Welcome to my treehouse. Gotta love the welcome messages. We got some glass in the wall there, nice little fence. We get a view. This is such a cool island. I love this, how there's just so much. It's just packed with stuff in such a small place. All right, so that's just a simple little treehouse. Nothing really special there. Oh, this is fun. This light system here. <laughs> I'm actually going to break one. Oh, wait, I can't. Oh, why is my speed so high? I need to do a... I'm on a server for this one. A bucket server. Or spigot server. Not bucket. Uh, I used to run on a bucket server, actually. Uh, what's funny is this system right here. What the hell? Yeah, so there's a light detector. There's supposed to be a light detector there. Uh, daylight sensor. There we go. I might as well put it back there for this. A boop. There we go. Huh, look at that. <laughs> so yeah, so I fixed the system here. So what this was is it was a lighting system that went all across the island. I'm going to try to find my way down there because it's pretty funny. There were walkways all over the... There we go. I found it. Might as well keep that open. But yeah, look at this freaking wiring. All underneath the island, I had repeaters and torches going everywhere. To every single one of these um, lights in the floor. It was ridiculous. Like, you guys have no idea how annoying it was to do this. Alright, let's get out of here. Boop. Probably could have just done that. Would have been a lot faster. But, yeah. So, let's block that off. So, there's the lighting system. Goes all the way around the island. So, let's go to the next thing. What is this? The big wall of achievement. I made the following multi- Full auto farms. Skeleton, zombie, slime, iron golem, gold, wool, XP, cobble, tall grass, giant mushroom, wood of all kinds, enderman, mycelium, sugar cane, cactus, wheat, potatoes, carrots, cocoa beans, chicken, snow, gas, blaze, melon, pumpkin, nether wart, sand, gravel, animal, mushroom stew, and unlimited water. I made it to the mainland and to the mushroom biome. Built a huge house with two floors, a roof you can walk on, two basements, <laughs> over 15 rooms, a complex minecart system, and much more. I built the gi a giant sky hotel that houses 50 plus villagers. Be a bil uh, built a beautiful lighthouse, made it to on top of the nether in survival, killed the ender dragon and a ton of endermen, killed the wither boss and set up a beacon block, have all domestic mobs in the game. And dog slash cats. Collected enough resources to fill over 20 double. <laughs> okay. And many more small achievements. 20 double chests of items. That's child's play. Alright, so then we got another enchanting area out here for whatever reason. Sail in this direction to go to the iron golem farm. Yeah. Okay. And what is this? Dive. 
Drive the boat in here to return it. Oh, I remember this. This is my automated boat system before dispensers were a thing. Oh. That's interesting. Oh, so I'd dispense a boat and then it would float up here. Oh, that's so cool. Too bad it's not a thing anymore. They kind of changed how boats work, so you can't really do that. But you have dispensers now, so... <laughs> oh, that'd be cool to have an automatic boat collector thing service. I might do that for the main survival island. And then we got our cocoa bean farm. <laughs> so, it pops off all the cocoa beans when you press that button. There's some redstone up here in the thing. Pretty cool, actually. I like that. Uh, let's see what the next thing is. Okay, this is cool. This is an automatic wood farm. So the way this thing worked is that you would sit at the bottom and you would just hold right click with, I think it was saplings, and a bunch of dispensers would bone me along to it and then pistons would push it out into a giant cube into this room if I can find it. There's an enchanting area, there's storage. Um, there we go. Hmm. It would push everything in here. And also, there's a bunch of cauldrons in here because that prevents um, the blocks from getting pushed out, I guess. So yeah, there's some wood left over from the process. Very basic wood farm design. Just a bunch of pistons and... Yeah, look at that. Plant the saplings on this block, then use bone meal. Wait. It's not even AFK. I have to use the bone meal myself? Oh, yeah, this is before dispensers. Wow. Okay. That's, huh. I don't know what to feel about that, but hey, it's a big farm. <laughs> it's pretty efficient, actually, compared to just planting it yourself, I guess. Uh, let's see what's, whoa. That nether portal is very messed up. Might want to just fix that real quick. To the nether. Not going in the nether yet. All right, so let's keep going in this circle around the island, I guess. So if we go over here, this is the animal farm. Unfortunately, all the animals have since died. We even have a little viewing platform up here. That's kind of funny. Or is that for chickens? Probably for chickens. But yeah, look at this place. Oh, what is this? What? The killing and cooking pit below. <laughs> so I would... <laughs> Yum, cooked me. Oh, that's so cruel. I would trap of death there. Oh my god, that is so freaking hilarious. Oh my god, where does this even go? Oh, this goes outside. <laughs> Drop mobs. Oh my god. So I would lure them out here with wheat. And then I'd press the button. And then they would all just die. That is so cruel but hilarious at the same time. I didn't even know that was a thing. It's been forever since I've looked at this world. <laughs> It's a lot of fun little surprises. Fishing spot. Hmm. Seems legit. Wait. Why is there a healing station in a place you can't even get to? Oh, okay, you can. I was about to say, wait. So this is probably the wool farm, considering it's made of wool. So we got a bunch of chests, shears, paintings. And if we go up here... Yeah. So there's a bunch of, I would assume, there's just a bunch of sheep in here, and I'd just shear them, and they all would drop their stuff down there. And I think there's a button to turn off the water current somewhere. I think it's here. In this floor somewhere. There you go. Press this to bring the wool, and press again to reset. Hmm. Look at that. Cool. <laughs> so then if we go over ha. Oh, I remember this. This is the obsidian farm. I spelled obsidian incorrectly. Place redstone, then press the button. Yeah, this was back when that was a thing. Unfortunately, this glitched was glitch. Glitch was patched. So what you would do is you'd put redstone here, press the button, lava would pour over all of it, turn it all to obsidian, and then of course you press the button again and it'd all go away. Actually, I think it was timed so that you only had to press it once. But yeah, unfortunately the obsidian farm is no longer a thing. Hmm, it's just a fountain over here. Alright. <laughs> And over here, that was the melon farm, but all the melons seem to have broken. Or all the stalks, at least, have broken. Again, this was on a server, so I, I'm not surprised that a bunch of things are kind of broken. What is this? 
Oh. There's a button off on the side for harvesting the melons, too. <laughs> the jail. Hmm. Wonder why... To the middle of the ocean. Why is this here? Why is this here? What's the point of this? <laughs> okay. I guess we'll find that out later. Oh, a mushroom house. Oh! This command block is for video editing only. No cheats. Weather clear. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I couldn't just type it in chat. I had to put it inside of a... That is hilarious. Okay. Oh, boy. What have we got here? Those are melons. So this... Okay, we did have dispensers at this point. Huh. So this is my automatic farm. This is the thing that inspired the first farm in Survival Island. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, it's timed perfectly, too. Look at that. It harvested everything. Then you just go in and you pick everything up and replant. Cool. And this was a nether wart farm, I remember. Yep, now do the same thing with the water. Just... Oh, and I had trap doors there, so it doesn't break anything. It's kind of funny. The skeleton trap. Oh, I remember. There was a lot of railways that went to random places, but I also had a central hub for railways at the same time. It was a little weird. Oh, also, I didn't... Uh, there's garbage disposal right there. It's a cactus. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's get some of this other main island stuff out of the way. Oh, this is a really fun one. This is the cactus farm. So you guys are probably like, what's so exciting about a cactus farm? Well, first off... Right? You press the button, it pistons go up and everything, and it all makes sense, right? Well, look what happens <laughs> when I go down into the bottom here. I this, this thing is famous for how stupid it is. You ready for this, guys? <laughs> look how many redstone torches I used. And how randomly I used them all to get all of these pistons to fire. Oh my god, this is embarrassing. This is like... This is like when I was still like figuring out redstone stuff. Oh my god, this is hilarious. Look how ridiculous. What amazes me... Is how stupid this is, yet it works perfectly. Like, every block fires at almost the exact same time. Like, that is incredible. Just look at this. <laughs> anyway, let's get out of there. Oh, if past me saw what I've done in recent times, they <laughs> freaked the hell out. Okay, let's continue on now. So, what is this? Oh, yeah, the zombie XP farm. Now, this goes really far back. This is the first spawner I ever found in the Survival Island world. As you can see, there's a freaking skeleton right there. Um, I'm gonna have to get rid of you, buddy. I'm sorry. Light switch. Ah, so there's, there's redstone lamps. Oh, and I see. So, when all the zombies spawn, they fall down there. Like that. And then if I go below. A bunch of zombie flesh storage. A lot of iron helmets. Splash potions. The splash potions was to kill them all in mass, I think. Because back then, there was no sweeping edge. Or there was no sweeping attack with the sword. So you kill them all for XP and carrots to the railway. So there's a railway leading to most of the things in this world. All right, let's get out of here. Nee, 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 nee. Yee. And I thought there were slabs there to prevent people from getting killed by mobs that spawned, but apparently not. Okay, so now what do we got? Auto lighting, up is on, down is off. Light switch, only if the auto lighting is off. So I can manually... Okay, so there's some logic here for me being able to turn on the lights if I... Okay, so if I turn off auto, and then I make the light switch go on. Oh, it's backwards. Okay. Cool. <laughs> so then I go over here. Mushroom stew refill station. Well, there's obviously supposed to be a mushroom there, but there's not. All right, Creeper, get out of here. You don't belong. <laughs> 
So let's go over this way. So we've got our sugarcane farm by the looks of it. And it looks like a pumpkin farm. I think this one works the same way as a melon farm. Yep, it does. What was that noise? Oh, it was a cat. Okay. And then we got our cats over here. All right. And then down here. Whoa. A drop to bedrock. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. We have anvils, cauldrons. I think this is like a crafting area of sorts. I don't know. This is a very unorganized area. What is this? Slaughterhouse. Oh, this is the chicken farm, I think. Egg factory. <laughs> I remember this. Shoot eggs. Oh. So I have some logic to make that dispenser constantly fire eggs. Stop eggs. Huh. That sounds overcomplicated, that redstone. Just looking at it. Refill eggs here. Huh. There was a spoiler on that sign. I'm not going to comment on that just yet. All right. So there we go. We got that. So now we have something that's a lot of fun. We have the shooting range. So this was fun because the way this worked is that there were actual targets that responded to you shooting them. And it's timed. So let's take this thing for a run, shall we, with my insane bow skills. All right, so the shooting range. Press this to start the five-minute clock. Make it to the end before the redstone torch turns off. So I got to make it all the way, come back down, and if this torch is still on, or not this torch, if the torch at the end, I guess, is still on, then I win. All right, so here we go. Okay, I got those. And as you can see, when you shoot the targets, the health, it shows that they got hit because their arms go down. So I got those. Now I fly up here. And I'm off to the next section. I'm on my character's shoulder. This is really good for testing your aim, actually. Because I'm, I'm pretty good at this, but I'm not, like, perfect. As you saw, I missed a couple. There's another miss. Another miss. The angle's weird, too. It tests all sorts of angles. There we go. I don't even think I'm supposed to be shooting at those, but I'm taking my chances anyway. Eh. Yeah, whatever. I'll hit that one later, because that's definitely... Okay, so there's that. And then I go down, dun, dun, dun. and I got a walkway here. Okay, now I got to go to the other shoulder. There's some targets out there. Get that one. Get that one. Get that one. Get that one. Oh, that's a good shot. And then I go to the end here. And there's one that's not hit. There we go. Wait, how am I supposed to hit these then? Oh, that's the one I missed earlier. Got him. Okay. And then we go up to the head. Dun, 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 dun. Boom. I think I might be able to get this in less than five minutes, guys. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me right now? This target. This angle's really hard, actually, because I got to hit the button on their chest. And that's what makes their heads or their arms go down. I think this is going to get it. There we go. I think I got it. Woo! I got all the targets. Huh. Where does it say whether I won or not? <laughs> oh, it's up at the top, I think. The torch is off. Oh, is that because there's no items left in the... Oh, whoops. Yeah, but I win. Okay, I made it, guys. And all the arrows are already starting to disappear, so all the targets are coming back. So there you go. That's the shooting range. And as you can see, it is my character. <laughs> so the shooting range is a copy of my skin, as you can see right there. And this is before colored um, clays were a thing. So, yeah, pretty good, actually. It's a one-to-one -one scale. Well, it's a one-to-four block scale. No, one block is a pixel, so I believe my head is like... 
eight blocks. One, two, three. Yeah, it's eight blocks. So cool. There you go. So I got to do that. <laughs> so this is the shooting range. It's pretty awesome. Now one quick little project I'm going to show you guys over here. This is really cool looking. This is the most professional thing I think I even have in this world. Like look how symmetrical and just perfect this building is. This is the fighting arena. So just it's a gigantic stadium with a ton of flags. And you have some cover down here for like bow fights and stuff. I really love the Minecraft bow mechanics. Like I was huge for Minecraft bow fighting back in the day. Which is why I had the shooting range. And... People are just PvP in here, I guess. I mean, it never really turned into anything for the server. And actually, this is funny. This is a teleporter back to the server, to the game center. So, yeah, we'll show off the server probably in a separate video, but it's still technically part of this. Well, anyway, let's get out of there. So that was a cool little thing I did. Might as well go check out the industrial district over this way. Yeah, this is fun. This is an area that I built off the side of the island. Actually, there is a couple things before that. So, we'll go over here. And boom. So, this is a... I don't know what this is. We're about to find out. Whoa. Oh, I see. No wonder. I was like, the storage is a little small in the house. Alright, this, this makes a little bit more sense. Not a lot of items in here, though. A lot of private 30 virus signs. So, yeah. This is a bunch of... This is just more storage, I guess. It's a large storage area down here. Then as I go outside, go straight in this direction to see the Sky Hotel, which we're not seeing yet. That is later on. Um, actually, I might as well go check out... Oh, we got our dog house over here. Two, three doggies in there. Um, we've got our tree farm made out of gravel. Oh, I remember my first ever copyright claim was when I was building this thing. Because, get this, guys. I got copyright claimed because I placed gravel in the exact tune to a song. And it wasn't intentional either. I was just randomly placing gravel, right? And then I got claimed for a song, and I listened to it, and the gravel matched perfectly to the song. And it was like, what? So I obviously appealed it because freaking placing gravel doesn't count as a copyright claim. But that was freaking hilarious. So that's a weird little story for that area. So, this is the lighthouse. This is a nice thing. I called it beautiful. I don't know about that. But, we'll see. I was very egotistical back then, and arguably I still am now. Uh, what's down below? Oh, this is a reference to my first uh, world. I did a, the same thing I did last time, where you can just look out in the water. LOL, underwater trapped iron golem. Ah, oh, well, the iron golem's dead. But, there was one there, I guarantee it. <laughs> Yeah, you can just see out in the underwater. And there's a giant glass dome over there, which is another reference to that little glass house I made in the first world. Just much bigger. All right, let's go up and above. Dun, dun, dun. So if we go up to the top here, I do not know what's up here. All right, so we got a balcony going all the way around, just like the Survival Island lighthouse from the second Survival Island. Um, nothing else seems to be here. So then if I go way up top... Then we got a bunch of hmm, lamps. So I'm guessing those turn on during the day and turn off during the night. Do, 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 do. Pull the lever two times to start the light show. Oh, I see what this did. It didn't turn off during the day and on at night. It did this. Yeah, the lights would go in circles like this. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Well, yeah, there's the, the lighthouse. So I might as well show you guys what this is. This is my first ever spleef arena that I've ever made. If you guys don't know what spleef is, it's a mini game where a bunch of players are given shovels. And it's a free-for-all, basically. They're all standing on snow, which is insta-broken by a shovel. So what happens is, this platform is floating. Underneath is a drop. So what happens is, you have to go up against other players, and you have to dig out the snow from underneath them. So they fall and lose. The last player standing wins. So yeah, I made this little arena down here. If I go to the bottom, it's just nothing really here. Just glowstone. <laughs> and then if you look, there's the entrance way for each team. So you got green, and then you got um, blue, red, yellow. <laughs> so that's that. Cool little spleef arena, just randomly at the bottom of the ocean that took so long to do that was before sponges worked in the game 
Um, yeah, that was that was a nightmare. Let's just say that. Okay, so now for the industrial district. So over here we got a caca bean farm. <laughs> this is before cocoa bean was a meme on my channel. So as you can see, it's just a massive version of the little cocoa bean farm over there. When you press the button, I believe the water currents. Yep. So there you go, water currents there. Cocoa farm, cocoa beans. <laughs> and then we got a snow farm. So you can just put a golem in there and right click at his feet, or left click at his feet with a shovel and just get a bunch of snow. Nothing really too complicated there. Mycelium farm. Dig with silk touch and then fill with dirt. So yeah, nothing really too complicated there. Just leave a couple mycelium blocks and then it'll spread all that throughout the whole thing. Now this is something I considered one of my most valuable things back in the day. This is an automatic potion brewing machine. So obviously the way it works is it crafts potions for you automatically. I don't know if there's anything in here. Oh, there are. I think it might still work. Let's give it a try, shall we? All right. Well, I don't remember which ingredients went where. So I'm going to guess. Um, oh, damn. I do not remember what anything was here. Well, this one was up already. So I'm going to guess that's good. And I'm going to press this one. Let's see what that gives us. Oh, you know what? The dispenser sounded empty. Damn. Oh, the ingredients are empty. All right. We can't do anything. But... Yeah, that, that thing was cool. It automatically brews potions. We have that in the new survival land as well. And there's an upgraded version over here, actually. I might as well get to that now. This version had an interesting modification made to it that makes it so that it can brew multiple potions. Um, so what you would do is you press your button, right? It'd start making potions here. And then I can press another button, and it'll make the next set of potions here. And then I can press another one, and it'll put another one here. So... It was really cool that way. I was able to craft like four sets of potions, all different kinds, all at the same time. I might make a tutorial for it someday. I'll have to do some updates to it. This is really old too, but I have to, I might want to do some testing because this could actually potentially be really useful. Anyways, let's go back to the tour over here. So this is a taiga tree biome by the looks of it. Spruce tree farm. Okay. Pablo the pig's cottage. Pablo! I remember Pablo. Too bad he's dead because this copy of the world doesn't have Pablo anymore. That's very sad. Yeah, well, Pablo the pig was a thing. <laughs> this is his little cottage that he was in. He had his little pen. Hmm. Poor Pablo. Okay. <laughs> what is this? The heck is this? What even is that? Is this a ladder to nothing? Okay. Put sand there. Oh, I know what this was. This little device grows crops for you. So if I were to take seeds, just plant all across here. Then I press this button. <laughs> so it does all that automatically. How cool is that? Um, unfortunately, the automatic collection system seems to be derping. But yeah, cool little thing. Not really all that useful, though. I have better farms for that sort of thing nowadays. <laughs> so where else do we go? Of course, we got some jungle trees using those uh, jungle saplings I found over at the biome. Oh, this is where I did an update video at one point. I think it was the start of SubioCraft. I was standing right here, and I was just talking about it. I think it's in my uh, Milestone videos playlist or something like that. But yeah, this is a... Automatic food dispensing system. It's really interesting the way this thing worked. The vending machine, I called it. So the way this worked is that you'd press a button, and there's a bunch of minecarts for each and every food item. And when you press this, it summons that minecart and brings it down to you. But unfortunately, the metadata for the minecarts was deleted, so they're just minecarts now. They're not minecart chests like they used to be, as you can see here. But, yeah, it would summon the minecart, and then you could just send it back. It was really cool that way. It stinks that a lot of the stuff isn't really intact anymore over here. But you get the point. Pretty cool stuff. I also find it interesting that it knows where the minecart was missing, too, and it puts it back in its original spot, which is pretty cool. What is this? Oh, is this the firework station? Yeah, it is. Firework crafting station. This is, oh, the dyes are over here, I was about to say. Ooh, look at all the mob heads and diamonds. and Oh, yeah. <laughs> and dispensers to shoot them off. 
And then we have this interesting little thing to the animal breeding machine. <laughs> Now, this device was very interesting. The way this massive contraption worked, this is probably my biggest redstone creation at that time. Look at this. Are there still... No. There's still some minecarts with stuff in them. That's hilarious. All right, so the way this thing worked, I might be able to test it with the pigs, actually. So what I would do is I would summon the pigs. Look at this. Okay, I'm going to have to press it several times. I can't believe I get to still test this thing. Okay. So the way this thing worked is it would like it would br summon two animals of any type or at least here. Cows, mushrooms, pigs, future mob, sheep, future mob. Welcome to my super compact animal breeding station. This machine holds 5 sets of each animal in 6 animal types. Press any button on the wall to send a pair of animals. Do not kill the animals or log out while they are here. Enjoy. Wait three to ten se or five to ten seconds after sending back animals to continue. Oh, there it goes. There we go. It brought the two mobs. And then, for example, with pigs, I would give them carrots. Boom, boom. They should breed. And then one of them is going to drop a baby pig down to the bottom. Then I press the button. And then it puts them up top again. And that's how it worked. And it did that for a whole bunch of different mobs. And it worked really seamlessly, actually. I'm very proud of this thing. I might... Um, I don't know about revamping this thing, because it is quite a massive structure for only getting one mob of each type at a time. But as far as redstone concepts go, this thing is really interesting. Um, yeah. Pretty cool.